Welcome to this brief introduction to geometric reasoning. Maths is all about following steps, so always be looking for a step-by-step -step process that you can use to solve a problem. Don't worry so much about the facts, because you become good at maths by doing maths, and you can do maths by following steps. So let's look at how that applies to geometric reasoning. Geometric reasoning is made up of three parts. The first part is triangles. Now triangles is one of the most step-by-step -step processes. Every time you'll have to label a triangle, every time you're going to have to use a formula, and every time you're going to have to put numbers into that formula and solve. Now the other two sections, shapes and circles, are really about learning rules. You're going to get told a whole lot of rules about the lengths of shapes, about the angles within shapes, and how these shapes relate together. The same thing with circles. You're going to get a whole lot of lines crossing over circles in a bunch of different ways, and there's rules which dictate what angles are the same, what angles add to 180 degrees. Now, two-thirds of this exam, like I said, is going to be made up of questions, of pictures, and you're going to have to use these rules to work out what angle is what, based on what you know. So put a massive focus in this section. When you hear what a rule is, make sure you make note of it. Or use your summary book, because they'll all be written down there. And in this way, you'll be able to systematically apply the rules one after the other, and you'll always get to an answer. So that's geometric reasoning in a nutshell. Good luck.